2024 Toyota GR Supra 3.0, a legacy reborn with modern thrills of performance excellence. Since its return in 2019, the Toyota Supra has consistently proven to be one of the best value sports cars available, though calling it one of feels modest. In truth, the Supra offers a unique blend of performance, style, and price that few can match. For 2024, the Toyota GR Supra is even more special, thanks to the option of a manual transmission and the limited 45th anniversary edition, which is poised to become a sought-after collector's item. When considering rival models, only two contenders truly stand out, the Chevrolet Corvette and the Nissan Z. While the Corvette is a mid-engine powerhouse, its higher price makes the Supra an even more attractive proposition. And compared to the Nissan Z, the Supra comes out on top as the faster, more exciting, and better-looking choice. My test drive was the 2024 Toyota GR Supra 3.0 45th Anniversary Edition, priced at $65,275. That's nearly $10,000 more than the standard 3.0 Supra and close to $20,000 more than the 2.0 liter model. The question isn't just whether the 45th anniversary edition justifies its premium and features. It's also about the long-term value. With only 900 units produced, this version will likely offer a strong return on investment. Since my first review in 2019, I've often dubbed the Supra the best bang for your buck sports car on the market. Does this model change my opinion? Or does it continue to reign supreme among its peers? 2024 Toyota GR Supra 3.045 5th Anniversary Edition Impressions Now in its fifth year, the Toyota Supra continues to leave a lasting impression. This two-door sports car remains a head-turner with a design that recalls the beloved fourth-generation Supra. The large, smooth headlights evoke memories of the JZ80 Supra, and as you walk past the long hood, the massive rear fenders and iconic taillights shout classic super design. It's a car that feels both modern and nostalgic, and for fans, the connection to its legendary predecessor is unmistakable. The 45th anniversary edition of the Super stands out with several unique visual enhancements. It's offered exclusively in two striking colors, Mekon Blast, a bold orange, and Absolute Zero, a crisp white. My test model came in the eye-catching Mekon Blast. This special edition also features a manually adjustable rear spoiler, 19-inch matte black forged aluminum wheels, and black Brembo brake calipers with the GR logo. True to Toyota's reputation for reliability, paired with BMW's precision engineering, the Supra is free from low-quality materials, offering a premium feel that matches its price point. Driving a 3.0-liter Supra is an unmatched experience. When the Supra first launched, it was available only with an automatic transmission, but enthusiasts clamored for a manual option, and Toyota delivered. While the automatic is undeniably faster than any human can shift, the manual transmission brings pure driving pleasure and gives enthusiasts the control they crave. In this manual version, the Supra becomes one of the most exciting cars to drive. The 2024 Toyota GR Supra 3.0 is powered by a 3.0-liter twin-scroll single-turbo inline six-cylinder engine. The twin-scroll turbo provides rapid response, delivering peak torque as early as 1,800 RPM and maintaining it through 5,000 RPM before tapering off. Buyers can choose between a six-speed intelligent manual transmission, IMT, or an eight-speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters. My model came with a six-speed manual, offering crisp, short shifts that make it a joy to operate. Altogether, the 45th Anniversary Edition GR Supra produces an impressive 382 horsepower between 5,800 and 6,500 RPM, with 368 LBFT of torque from 1,800 to 5,000 RPM, delivering both power and precision. Braking and Acceleration if you drive this car, then you better drive it right. This means you need to test out at 0 to 60 miles per hour time nearly every chance you get. In addition to feeling simply vicious in acceleration, the Supra's official number is 3.9 seconds from a dead stop to 60 miles per hour. Turn off traction control 
and the Supra turns into a drift car real quick with completely playful rear wheels. It's really too bad that the Supra doesn't come with a manual handbrake. Instead, you get an electric one that kills its drifting spirit. The Supra will give you the exhilarating acceleration, but make no mistake about it, it will offer you the confidence of braking to go with it. In the front, for piston Brembo fixed caliper disc brakes, give the Supra its stopping power, while one piston cast iron disc brakes with floating calipers get the job done in the rear. I drove the Supra on track for hours at a time during a media drive, and the brakes are simply exquisite. Toyota GR Supra 3.0 Fuel Economy The 2024 Toyota Supra 3.0 gets an EPA estimated rating of 23 mpg in the city, 31 mpg on the highway, and 26 mpg in combined city and highway driving. It's difficult to keep these numbers true, especially with the manual transmission. The Supra sounds just so good that it's impossible not to keep revving it every chance possible. However, I was still able to get between 20.8 mpg and 21.9 mpg average fuel economy, even when driving stupid. My driving was a perfect combination of city and highway, oftentimes dealing with bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. For the amount of smiles per mile the Supra gives, I'd say that's not a bad deal. While the Supra's exterior resembles the classic JZA80 platform, the interior is much for BMW. The infotainment system is basically out of a BMW, which isn't a bad thing at all. The German automaker knows how to make good cars, and this system and interior is no different. The cabin is very sporty, but the leather seats are quite comfortable and supportive. Visibility is definitely an issue, however, and between the tiny windshield that feels like you're piloting a tank and looking out of the small window and the outrageous blonde zones, it takes some getting used to in order to drive comfortably. With the comfortable driving position and my 6 feet 2 inches stature, I still feel like the screen is angled up in an awkward way. It's still clearly visible, but it just feels off. Finally, the cup holders are well placed for the automatic transmission, but good luck trying to row through the gears of the manual transmission without slamming your elbow into your coffee cup or whatever else you're drinking. Overall, the interior is a pleasure to be in, but if there are any shortcomings in the Supra, they are most likely found in the cabin. The Supra's cabin comes with an 8.8-inch high-res center display. The infotainment system comes equipped with wireless Apple CarPlay. The system allows for complete hands-free operation, from getting direction, to making calls, and even sending and receiving messages all without the need to touch it. Move your head back to the road, and you will see the full-color head-up display. This system displays some driving data, as well as the navigation's direction. Back to the center, you will find a wireless charging station that simply doesn't work so well. Your phone will be difficult to reach as it goes under a piece of plastic, and these chargers just never work well, especially during spirited driving. More importantly, the Supra system focuses on safety with things like automatic emergency call feature, real-time traffic info, roadside assistance, and much more. You don't buy a Supra for storage, but for the sake of a full review, we will shine some light on how much the Super can take. Interior storage is nearly none. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.